Welcome back to learning how to play Age of Wonders 4. And we are still in the midst of a large-scale battle on all fronts, really. Which, preferably, we wouldn't be, but such is the realities of our situation at the moment. There is an army coming for our main city, which I do not appreciate at all. Uh, we need a hero. We need a new hero. So we shall go and see if we can't afford someone now. Well, we can, but only a level 6. I think we're going to save up another turn. Uh, if we buy something for a 100-something, that's fine. Let's buy us a Razorback. That's a good investment, I think. Uh, orders are required. Yes, you're going to sit in the main city and defend. You build a tithe shrine. Oh, man. I want to build so many things, but we need to be very conservative with our money at the moment. Ah, right. Yeah, you build all that. That's fine. Especially I want to have fortifications. I'm not I'm not too, f too happy with what we got. Um... And we don't have a leader for you. Uh, that's that's just a big shame. All right. I could get some of this. But we're not gonna because I need to save up. I'm, I'm very terrible at saving up with these games. Yes, yes. I know. I know. Go away. We're not building anything. We need to save. Uh, ruler can level up. Okay, that's good. Uh, defense. Yeah, you're also someone standing in the front line all the time. So you get some... More resistance and defense, please. Yeah, I know you all want to join, but I can't afford you. Complemented city can be integrated. All fine and dandy, but we don't want to. Man. What a situation we find ourselves in here, honestly. Okay, let's end this turn. There they are retreating to a degree, but not them. They are coming straight for us, which is probably, it's pretty good for us, honestly. That is pretty good for us. So we don't have to walk too far to attack them. We'll auto combat that. Ah, we lost the archer that we just pulled in. That is acceptable. Now what I want to see is what's happening down here. These are coming closer. Yeah, they are. So we are going to go back down with our armies. I will just stand there. Okay, the armies are gone again. That's kind of crazy. All right. You can't really go back down because you are not having enough movement, but you can. So we'll bring you here. Birdie will join up with you. And you will just come next turn. You will stand guard here. All right, let's, let's get that hero, okay? Otherwise, I forget. What do we have? A ward breaker. Okay. A beast trainer. Well, that's not bad. That that might be a good idea. Um, you are beloved. Thirty city stability. That's pretty pretty good. Ambusha. Universal camouflage. That might be a good thing. So it can't be seen. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's take the universal ambusher. So this army can't be seen as they're moving about and around. Why do we sense them? And then when I look at them, they're gone. I, I don't like that. Let's uh, join this army up here. Why would I join them up? Well, I think something is coming from here. But I don't know. Definitely. Oh, this is probably what came. Yeah. It's this infestation thing. That that came for us. Okay. So we, we'll take care of that. Right, now we have our finances back under control and we can do whatever you want, we want with it. So we're going to push it for more money, honestly. Because that is what we need at the moment. So we'll build all the mints in all the lands. 
and we'll apply him here so he can rule over this. Helps us a little bit. And you leveled up. You are our martial fighter here with that big thing. Very good. We need to do something with our Imperium, I believe. What do we have? Magic origin unit is reduced upkeep. Yeah, that's pretty decent. We have a bunch to spend, so let's shop around. Movement. Oh, friendly units in our own domain. Minus two. Yes, thank you. Definitely taking that. That's expensive, but it's worthwhile. City structures, 20% less to build. 2,000 gold at all once. <sighs> yeah. We'll take it. We'll, we'll just take the money infusion right away. We are in desperate need of it, honestly. We're losing so much time uh, when we can't build or can't upgrade or don't get new units and everything. Uh, so we'll spend it right away, as is tradition. You get money, you spend it. Money in the bank is worthless, but we also need to spend it on some troops. So wild speaker, iron golem... More of these boys. Um, the Lord's Mana is pretty good, but it's taking a whole long time to build. More research, more happiness. Don't really need the happiness. Um, so we're gonna go for the mint. And then we need these things slowly but surely. All right. Now, what can we build here? Market's already coming. Definitely need a stonemason. They have zero production going on. Uh, let's get some more troops here. Are we building something here? Yeah, kind of. Definitely upgrading this. And the fortifications, which I want everywhere, pretty much. Okay, and there! There goes our 2,000 gold. Immediately gone again. What do you have? Do you have anything good? I mean, yeah, let's, let's sell a bunch of these remains. Honestly, we don't... We don't necessarily need them, and... The gold is better in our hands, as well as the items in our... Uh, friends here. Horses, horses. Also, we can sell those on, on top of it. So, that's pretty good. We didn't really get all that much interesting stuff here. But we can expand what our heroes can do with it. City was released as a vassal. Yeah, that's our boys on the ground. Let's give them a whispering stone so they become friendly quicker. Or even more friendly. I mean, we conquered them so they don't really get a choice and all that. Uh, let's check our primary leader here if we can't give them something better in equipment. Helm of the Warrior, I think, is better than the crown. Yeah, definitely. Plus 10% melee damage. Big stacking on, on her here. Magic Missile Wand, sure. Ring of the Inspired Killer or Opportunity Attack. Definitely double morale bonus on killing because that's that's her whole thing. Like she kills things. Or at least that's how I'm hoping that the setup of her works. Alright, and then we're gonna march down on Harperton, though we need to be slightly careful with what we can't see. But that's the plan. That's the plan. And for vassalize that. All right, let's join these armies in a moment. Something about Cinderhold. I'm not reading these, I know. It's just... Gotta get through this. Yeah, okay, okay. Fine. Take away my research. Be happy about it. Can I please select this army? Yes, thank you. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, alright. Fine. They have a level 4 thingy. Big horned god running around. 
but that's good. Okay, all our troops just kind of leveled up there. Big, strong battle. Very good. All right, these boys are going to be our defenders here. Then they just chronogated from there to there. This this is this is our back army, basically. Our main boys are going to be fighting down here. Is how it's going to go. All right. I need to be careful with moving. Can't go too deep. Otherwise, they might get split up. And we definitely don't want that. All right. Let's get these troops here. Distributed. Yeah, very good. All right. Everyone there. Okay. New book. Summoning tome. Ah, uh, now. What do we need? Transmutation. A transmuter. Shift bolts. Physical damage. Might be a good idea. They have a lot of resistances, but I don't think... Steel skin. Defenses. Lightning resistance less. Adaptive armor. Hmm. Tome of Terramancy. Summon a stone spirit. That's that's pretty good. That's a big boy. Earth Shatter. Tremor Ritual. It's a good siege project. And we are sieging a lot at the moment. So I think we're going to go there. Ignore the middling mages. Who seek to raise the dead or harness lightning and fire to hurl at you. These fools know not the power resting beneath their own feet. But they will. In the final moments of their insignificant existences. When you bury them beneath the mountain. And rend the land beneath their city. Alright, seismic shock is not exactly what I wanted out of this. But we'll take it anyway. Alright, let's... Build another wild speaker or defender. Let's build a bannerman. We don't have a lot of support up here at the moment. Alright. My domain has been invaded again. Ah, yeah, there. That's fine. So we're not really concerned about blue, because blue, I believe, is battling green. As we have a defensive pact with green. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, they integrate another city down there. Good stuff. And there are the armies now. Alright, this is strong stuff. This is really strong stuff. 1,184, 900. We don't know how much is there. Actually, we can, we can check it out. Alright, this is all we see. And yeah. We have 900. Okay, so they, they are biggest armies and it's always the biggest armies basically fighting one another. Unless we attack like this. Then we can cheap out a little bit. 2,400. So we have 900, 600, 800. We could barely take them if we attack like this, but we can't. We cannot do that. So we're going to pull back over here. Like this. I just wanted to walk there. I did not want to attack anything. And the bird here might be a problem. Because they might go and attack the bird. And then we have the weaker position in the, in the battle. So... I'm going to dismiss them, honestly. Because I don't want the battle on the bird to start. That, That's definitely not what I want. If I lose, I would like to lose with our best troop in the field, basically. But that also means that their main power is there. Meaning our main power should also be there. So we will bring our troops. Oh my god, look at the movement range. This is some good stuff. So we'll bring these boys down to reinforce ourselves. And we'll keep building. Building up and out. 
Gotta build the knights. Gotta build, gotta build, build, build. Let's see, can we build something that will help us later? A merchant guild? Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. I think we could use some more research, honestly. I know that's not really warlike, but... What's she gonna do? Let's get some Rally of the Sieges. Uh, Legis. My god. I will forever get this wrong, I think. Let's get the support unit. Spring Fairy. Your orders are required. You're just going to stand there. Defend. I can't walk you in a better position. So we might get obliterated down here now. This might happen because our troops aren't all that strong, honestly. Can we reinforce them somehow? We could give them Sundering Blades or Seeker Arrows. Phasing Enchantment is probably not going to be ready until they come. So uh, let's, let's put up Sundering Blades again. That affects the most at once. And we can afford these again, so we're gonna do it. And we are also starting on the phasing enchantment. Because we have a whole lot of these boys, so that makes sense to do as well. A lot of support units in our armies. Alright. Um, something you saw about, uh, if you lost, watched last episode, we lost a big chunk of our troops out here. Which wasn't optimal, obviously. Oh, they have a teleporter there. That's not good. Um, however, uh, it, 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 it didn't kill us. Um, it is survivable in this game, which I appreciate. It's not always the, came, uh, the case in these kind of games. Sometimes it's debilitating uh, to have your troops destroyed like that. All right, so now we have all our armies together. We can be cautiously moving in here again. And I'll just have to wait to see. Actually... I'm going to build myself some scouts, I think. Because these are going to come in handy at the moment. Oh, we can annex something new. And that's going to be another forester up here, I think. Orders required. Yeah, you're just going to stand there. We're just building up armies in the background. All right, all you're just going to sit there until we got movement again. We don't have the strongest armies at the moment, I don't think. You can annex another thing. Oh, no, we already did that. You can annex another thing. We didn't do that yet. Uh, let's go inland a little bit. Let's have another forester, which helps a lot because we are at the, at the cusp of getting the smithers guild, which is amazing with foresters. And we can do another thing here. Vassals grant plus 10 gold, which would be okay, but... Well, gain plus one siege project and they cost us less, which would be nice. I think we're going to save up for that. City structures, minor twins. Uh, we'll do that first. I can do without siege project. Oh, no. Are you allied now? Oh, good. Good lordy. Hey, you. <laughs> no. Um, how about, how about, uh, why can't I settle grievances? I would like to settle grievances. No? Uh, okay, no. Fine. Well, that's not great. But blue hasn't been doing too well, so... Ah, there we go. There they come. There. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I'll just jump into this. Uh, it's probably... Probably not good. Probably not good. Now, something to note. 
the AI tends to throw away your heroes like really, really badly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we speed this up slightly. Or do we play through the whole battle? I <laughs> Okay, so how will I try and get this? Uh, we're going to look at the terrain. This is a solid wall, so enemies have to walk around here to get to us. So pulling our troops into a bundle is a good idea to a degree because the enemy most likely has spells and stuff to hurt us if we bunch up. But not bunching up is also kind of terrible uh, because you are quite vulnerable. You're going to have vulnerable uh, flanks. Uh, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think we're going to bunch up here. So we got some defensible positions, sort of. So we'll move our our troops here. Have them look this way. Our golems will put there. Stand guard. These will pull back. No, they can stand right where they are. That's fine. You. You are a ranged attacker. You go there and stand guard. You are a wild speaker, so you're gonna summon a beast for the moment. Little spider boyish, which can't do nothing. These we're gonna keep over here on the side to do a fallout attack. These we'll put here just to you know block off the access. Uh, we'll put our hero there in the foliage wh where they are somewhat protected against ranged attacks. We'll conjure another animal. More little spiders so they can't move no more. These are attackers. We'll put them here behind our hero. And make sure that they're looking toward the enemy really. All right, uh, support boys. I will keep that for later. We'll we'll put them here, which is a juicy target for the enemy. They might want to just run in and attack them as it is. Get our archers ready here. Okay, the hunter spiders we'll put there. And these boys, I know they can summon animals, but we want to move them out and to safety for now. Bunch our troops up and defend as best we can. I could walk around back here, but that's going to be something. Also defend. You go there. Alright, let's move them here. I believe we have you moved everyone, have we? Oh, you could still move, but you really can't, so you're just gonna do this. Everyone goes in defense mode if we don't use them. Let's speed all this up a little bit. Alright, so they're not bunching up to really uh, reinforce themselves with magics. That, that, is, that is okay. As a situation, as far as situations go, that's okay for us. Let's summon a little animal. All these small ones, they're not going to be super helpful. But they can make a slight difference. I'm going to keep them slightly on the back. Uh, where to turn? Like this. No option is really good. Um, our hero will stand there. And you reinforce our dog. You just kind of keep standing there. You go for defense again. Our archers we can bring up. You will also just kind of stand there, or can you do something cool? Summon elemental, yeah. This costs us three movement points, so we better do it early. All right, these 
pigs, they stand there, these stand there. Our little spiderlings. Uh, I think we'll send them out. Because they have this one guy over there. They're pulling together in this direction. I think. So we might want to pull out our cavalry this way. And threaten the flank. Slightly. Unleash the beast of our quill bows. Right. Now sending in the spiders like this is definitely going to kill them. Definitely going to kill them. We're not going to do it. It's, uh, it's an utter waste of time. Rallying blessing. Nah. Ah. Okay, let's pull in these troops first. Uh, the spiders can't move anymore. I'm not sure why. Get that going. Our hero will... Uh, see, the AI would probably just send our hero out now, like this. But that's crazy. <laughs> that is insane. We're not going to do that. Uh, right, but we can uh, summon some stuff now. So Steadfast is pretty good. Um, units can't go lower than one hit point. That's pretty amazing. Uh, but for the moment... We're going to summon us some fauna. Because they might just do something about it. Might just. Might just. We'll see. If they let themselves be slightly allured away in that sense. Yeah, okay. So we're diverting a little bit of troops. Yep, that didn't last long. <laughs> okay, then. Alrighty, okay. <sighs> right, let's think this through. So we could flank these. But I'm thinking of flanking these, rather. Can you guys reach? Yeah. Definitely rather gonna go like this. And we'll just pull these in as a somewhat of a threat. A minor, very minor threat or a bait. Whichever way you want to look at it. And you are going to kill this thing. So that's good. Uh, our archers, what can you do? Ooh, no, that's not what I wanted. Our archers see nothing, hear nothing. They can't do anything from here. That's great stuff. Uh. Uh. Where do we go? What do we do? Probably here. Now we need to fill this gap here. So we'll move them over here. So they can attack them, which doesn't matter. But what we want is we want to move these boys here. And go in defense mode. Uh, do you give temporary hit points? Yeah. That doesn't help us much. 
but they give regeneration, which does help us much. Okay. Uh, freezing burst. Nope. Nope. We definitely want to make their charge attack be less useful. And this thing we summoned, so I'm not... I'm not too fussed about losing it, partially. Now, it is very, very, very attractive. Like, a very attractive idea to put in your hero and really do a chunk of damage. But unless you can follow it up, unless you can reinforce and support your hero, don't put them out like this. They will be absolutely slaughtered um, by everything standing around it. So, for now... For now, we'll just do this. Which turned him around entirely, so that's not great. Um, another charge attack we could stop here. What does this do? Adjacent, no. So we'll bring him in there. That's kind of what we want could destroy these could attack the hero we'll just destroy these okay well we we might have destroyed these but we didn't so we'll use these boys to do it and we'll move these guys in to protect because this guy is currently standing in a really really bad in a really really bad spot um, he's gonna get flanked so hard. What can we do? Revitalize. I want to seduce. Definitely that. But I'm not willing to risk her yet. So we'll move her in. And add some protection to the group. Okay. Let's bring in the little pigs. These boys are absolutely useless at this point. So we're going to move them slightly here. It's not a great amount they can do, but they do it. They do it anyway. Let's put this guy here. Uh, let's put this guy here. So our spiders can actually start going elsewhere. Hmm. Web is really good. We definitely want this. Um, where do we want it, though? Where we, do we have a big concentration of enemies? Let's, let's jump our spider here. It's a right click, isn't it? Can we still do this? Okay, we'll, we'll jump our spider here behind the wolf. To help with the flanking. And I didn't think this through, because the spider now does not get to do anything, apparently. That's not great. Okay, again, very, very attractive to bring out this boy. But we're not gonna, we'll just summon a little spider. I want our heroes to be like the last line of defense, really. I want these to come out at the very latest point. Now we can bring you here and reinforce the wolf again. And you guys will just parade out there where you're pretty much covered from all sides. And you guys can attack from here. Let's try. That was a crit, but they resisted the bleeding. You already shot your shot. You guys moved your move. What do we have here? Okay, something we're going to do is we're going to give this whole group here steadfast. So they can't die for a bit. 
Oh, it's only one turn. Great. All right. Let's see how bad of the situation we are in. Let's move all this up a little bit. Oh, no. I hate it when they start healing stuff. Goodbye, spiders, I assume. Yep. Well, we are getting obliterated. As I said, we don't have the greatest army, honestly, because our units are kind of weak. So we are easy prey. Oh, man. Yeah, we are getting destroyed. And there's very little we can do about it, quite honestly. I would dare say almost nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Now look at the little bit of damage we're dealing here. Even though we're flanking that thing. It's just... It's nothing. It's crazy. Oh, man. Okay, what do we do? Oh, man. What is this? Freezing phase. Teleports the unit and deals damage to adjacent units. I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but it's almost dead anyway, so might as well try and make the most of it as it stands. Which isn't a lot. The most of it is not a lot. And you can't move down there because, well, you're kind of stuck. Now you can move down there so you can hit these boys in the face. Oh, God. Look at that. We're, we're, we're not dealing any damage whatsoever. At all. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that would be a hero attack. Hitting another hero as well. So now we're bringing them into play. It's not like we have much of another choice, really. We really don't. We really don't have another choice. All right. Let's move these guys around here. Let's attack that hero slightly. A wolf could attack this wolf and deal a good amount of damage, but also be damaged in return. Probably better than doing nothing at this point. Okay, we'll move you here. My hopes was to bring out our hero to effect, but we can't. Uh, can we seduce something with these now? Of course not. Oh, what can we? Target cannot be affected. Will it work? No! Darn it. All right, so we'll move here. Oh, wait a moment. Now I clicked this already. I could have used the magic missile. Ah, uh, I didn't. I did not. Ah, uh, man. All right. Why are these all dead, I ask myself. This is not good. Can we kill the level 1 unit is the big question. And I do and I do fear the answer is no, we cannot. Well, actually we did. We we, we got a crit out there. So that that that's uh that's nice. That's nice, honey. Units in a 2 hex radio get uh get regeneration. It's, uh, it's not going to be enough, is it? 
But we'll try. We'll try. Oh, man. Bye, little spiders. Oh, man. Really have nothing, nothing at all to, to do the big numbers of damage. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible to watch. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is absolutely terrible to watch. Absolutely horrid. All right, you would have to move away. And they don't get to attack you. But we deal almost no damage against them. That's fantastic stuff. Could kill them. Oh, man. No damage at all. Do we have any animals to inspire? We do not. Anything we can do, not really. Oh man. Attack here. We'll try and do something, anything. These will just defend because they're pretty much dead anyway. And this is still not enough to kill them. So we'll attack these instead help our hero out a little bit. Can you kill something? Anything? No. <laughs> oh my lord. Can you believe it? We're attacking literal scouts and not deal any damage. That's fantastic. Okay, regeneration is not exactly what we want out of this. I will kill this wolf now because we can. And it's the best thing we can do at this turn with this boy. And... We could go take the ranged attackers out of play, sort of. So they can't attack next turn, like that. And you guys are just gonna do warding. And... Do we animate some more flora? I mean... It hasn't helped us so far. Let's put it here. It's another unit on the field. Uh, who's still up for grabs? Oh, you. What does this do? 90% chance to inflict poisoned. Sure, let's try. Ah, it worked. So he's poisoned now, so that's good. Alright, let's have another turn of being utterly destroyed. Let's just move this up slightly. Okay, poison and bleeding is removed again. Our wolf is dead. Everything we worked for was taken by basically one singular blessing. And this hero just moved across the field at the speed of light. Oh, no. We are incredibly dead. Incredibly dead. I don't think you understand the amount of dead we are. Really don't think I can convey it properly either. Alright, little spider boy is doing their best. You are just... Yeah, you just... You just gotta defend. Hit him! Oh, no. 
Yeah, we're so dead. Amazing how dead we are. Oh, man. Oh, goodness, dear me. Um, why are we need killing anything? There we go. That's a critical hit. That's nice. And that thing doesn't hit anything from here. So we're just going to move it up. Creep it across the ground. Um, but yeah, we, we're, we're just incredibly dead. Incredibly dead. Oh no. <laughs> um, I, I think we can tell just by the amount of things left on the board uh, where we stand, and it's nowhere good, is what I can tell you. It's nowhere good. Let's make you distracted. I, there's nothing we can do. Oh boy. Oh, our hero is almost instantly dead by a single attack. Well, I said earlier that losing some of your troops isn't bad. Uh, let's see how it is if you lose all of your troops. Let's see if this is the match for us. But this is something I'm not really good at currently. I, I'm, not, I'm not good at scaling. Like, I have no idea how to push the powers at some point. I really don't understand it. I don't get um, how to build this properly. I sometimes just go for defensive things where I shouldn't go for defensive things. Um, I could run, obviously, from the fight, but at this point, it's, it's uh, pointless to run. So we're just going to do the very best that is left to us to do. Pretty much. Uh, you are going to die if we move you. So let's move you and die. Very good. And you attack. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see how we... Or if we can turn this around. I would like to get our hero out though. Because he's not going to kill anyone. And we might as well save the hero at least. Uh, though there is no guarantee that even if you get him out of the combat. That he's going to be saved. Uh, that is absolutely no guarantee. The hero might still die. If they leave the battleground. See, I rarely build casters and stuff, so my damage is really not amazing. And everyone is running anyway. Alright, uh, the hero got away. That is good, at least. So we saved one dude. We killed more than the AI would have in, in, in the battle, so that's also kind of good. Uh, but, of course, they run up immediately onto our next... I, I don't understand why we don't have a retreat button. I really don't get it. Uh, so we'll just auto combat out of that, because that will be our death. And indeed, everyone was killed. We have lost all our armies, I believe. Um, the, yep, we lost every single army. Our hero that fled is going to reappear here at some point. Our uh, leader will reappear as well. But everyone else is basically lost at this point. Um, yeah, he will reappear. We could resurrect them if we had built uh, the appropriate building which we're currently at kind of so we'll move this up the crypts but it doesn't matter much i think because honestly uh, uh we're not going to be able to rebuild any sort of semblance of an army to uh counter what we just witnessed down there this re we we have nothing we have nothing to counter this honestly uh all of our troops are pretty damn defensive uh, the best we have is our knights, and our knights got obliterated down there. Um, hmm. 
All right, we'll have to think about this uh, next turn. I will call this a little bit of a devastating blow to our current uh, campaign, but it's not lost yet. So we'll see how it goes next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.